Okay, uh, this is a little video about my BSA Ultra XL. I know it's not the most popular choices of all rifles, but to be honest with you, this one's quite accurate. I can hit inch groups at 60 yards, not a problem. Anyway, what I'm getting down to is this. This wonderful little area which BSA designed to take a mag. Now the problem with it is is that if you want a single shot trailer where you can only go from this side not excuse uh, excuse the custom co cocking handle which I made but I got tired of the old BSA one which I don't think now this plastic bit here okay now this is what gets in the way of loading from the correct side now as I said the only ones you can buy on market are either ones that you pull out from here or you just pop the pallet in the other side and let it roll down. So, this is the original BSA magazine, which we all know and detest. Um, it's not bad, but it does jam. Um, I don't like the loading mechanism, obviously, because when you index it to the next pallet, you've got a chance of damaging the next pallet because of the, um, the locking mechanism, which allows you to load it. Anyway... So instead of spending out 30 quid on something that I most probably wouldn't like and didn't use very much, I decided to make my own. Now this isn't a super duper um, technical piece of equipment. It is consists of two pieces. Sorry, one handed. One piece is a Darwin block, 10 by 10, not a problem. And inside that little M3 grub screw is, if it will focus, hang on, doesn't like the black, doesn't like focusing on black. Hang on a sec, let me see if I can focus in. Right, he's focusing now. Inside there. Is a little bit of an o-ring about six mil worth of o-ring we produce half a mil into the five mil hole obviously this is to hold the pellet ready for priming it into the chamber um, I tried going to 4.6 but the 4.6 mil drill wouldn't allow the pellet probe to pass through cleanly and easily all right so that's why we've got that this simple M6 bolt with a 10mm head is because that fits into this aluminium chassis. Now this aluminium chassis is 13mm by 51mm long um, and all the milling is done with a 10mm mil, um, mil basically. Um, the first stage is 10mm deep and that goes all the way through. The second stage is another 10 mil deep, okay, but allowing for five mil on this end and five mil on that end, okay. And then coming from the side with a mil, that one is also a 10 mil, um, and that's 10 mil deep to interact with that original slot. Now on the end, is a little bolt and that acts from the other side as that pin now the reason why it's a bolt and not a pin i will explain to you in a minute so for some people it's obvious why it's like that anyway so it's a simple design you know obviously if you've got two bsa rifles 2.2 two and a 177 you just make up a secondary block for 2.2 two. Okay, and then that makes it nice and easy. Anyway, you must bear with me because I know nothing holds it in, but you don't really need to, and I'll, I'll show you that as well. So basically, it slides out, load your pallet in, slide it back in, job done. Right, so to get it into here, obviously, make sure your pallet probes back like so. 
and then excuse me because this is quite hard to do while looking through the camera because the camera isn't exact so you push it in okay so that's now into position inside the chamber right see so it's poking out above the plastic okay let me just rest my rifle okay so there it is it's poking outside now so you can see where that pin is okay again bear with me i'm doing one-handed and i've lost the bolt wherever it may be nuggets oh it's still in there sorry right so let's take this out Sorry, this is my first YouTube video, so what I'm doing now is taking that bolt out. Again, I'm trying to hold the camera while doing this, so so we take the bolt out. Let's try that again. Can we slide it back? into the chamber. You must excuse the background noise, I'm watching running now. You know, it's late night. I've got the wine out and it's time to play with my air rifle. Obviously in the, in the safety of my own home. So anyway, again, I'm doing this. Right, so then you put that through that hole. Now that's M3 and it passes clearly through that hole without any damage to that plastic. And that's it. So, yeah, I know it sticks out about a little bit too, a little bit far on this side. But again, you can always put your range card on there, so you know what your scope will be aiming at. Uh, you know your mill dots and such. Right. So, it's back in position at the moment, and so you pull it out. Push your pallet in, close it, and then put your cock and handle forward. There you go. And when you're ready for your next shot, cock, pull, load, lock, cock, rock. See? So, there's just a quick video on what you can do with a bit of aluminium, a bit of plastic. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.